My name is Claire O'Brien. I'm head of media effectiveness and performance uh, with ISBAR, working in the media team. Uh, together with uh, Steve Chester, who's sitting down here at the front, who you'll be hearing from shortly. So it's my job to be your host today for our first digital forum of 2019, uh, where we aim to give you sort of glimpses into uh, different aspects of digital, how it applies to your media, bring you up to date with some of the work that ISBAR is doing and is in the process of doing, and hopefully leave you uh, educated, inspired sometimes, uh, certainly better informed as to what the current state of play is in certain areas of the market. So I just want to show you some of the stuff that if you haven't already heard about, you'll be rushing away to download when you leave here. Uh, and the first one is a new paper that we published with Ubiquity just over two weeks ago. And this was working with our Insight and Effectiveness Media Group. Um, there was the sense that within organizations, that somehow attribution was getting a bit mixed up with overall marketing effectiveness in terms of internal communication. And so we set out to demystify the roles of attribution and marketing effectiveness together. And we've come up with um, a really interesting paper that takes a top view, management view, of how attribution and marketing effectiveness might work better together more effectively. Um, and the one big message out of this is that attribution systems are not the panacea for measuring the effectiveness of your marketing investments. Um, and we also established the fact that the lack of clarity of and standards in the attribution marketplace were also not very helpful. And so, as your trade body, that's something that we'll continue to look at um, and try to establish so that when you're buying services, you at least have a more consistent framework um, for choice. But, and really importantly, we look back at the work we've done around um, marketing effectiveness culture. Um, we partnered with the IPA just before Christmas and released uh, a, a fascinating study that established um, how dominant short-termism is becoming in marketing at the moment and how perhaps one of the reasons for this is the increasing reliance on attribution systems and really to fully understand the effectiveness in a complex media environment and fragmented audiences that we need to perhaps go backwards a little bit and start thinking about the long term. And the route to this is a top-down approach. It's, this is not something that will be solved within your organizations from the bottom up. And it's a good read, perhaps not as exciting as a novel, but uh, it's an easy read and it's something that you can share with your colleagues throughout your organization. So please download it and do just that. Um, the, about a month ago, was it Bobby, we launched this? Uh, this is a fantastic publication, I think possibly is as exciting as a novel. Um, that uh, this is, you know, everyone talks about addressable TV but's not quite sure what they're talking about and I think Part of the origin of this publication, which was produced for us by Decipher, and uh, was Nigel Wally, who went to a, a sort of a showcase day at Sky one day, and there were lots of different rooms with different aspects of uh, smart, ad smart being discussed by Sky people. And he said he walked out of it more confused than when he'd walked in, even though he knew probably more about addressable TV than um, most other people in Europe at the time. And he said, well, Christ, he said, if Sky have three different descriptions of what addressable TV is, we need to do something about this. 
And that's what this publication is. And if you're looking to educate yourselves at the moment uh, around this subject matter, or you have colleagues who are looking at it, again, go home, download it, and share it out with your colleagues. Uh, we're really, really pleased with that. Um, so you can see we've been busy. We continue to be so. Uh, events. On Tuesday next week, it is ISBAR's annual conference. You'll find uh, literature on this all around the seats. And I hope that some of you will be attending that conference. And if you're not, that you'll have a think about it today and get your seats booked as quickly as possible. We've got some amazing speakers. We're um, taking a very high level um, industry working um, together. It's, it's all about a more effective industry is where we all have uh, common aims, but we have Keith Weed speaking. Um, we <laughs> Mark Reed is speaking. We have Philip Collins, who's a Times columnist, talking and has um, been not instrumental, but certainly is, is uh, involved in our new uh, middle ground party that has suddenly appeared in the last couple of days. So this is not just a conference that is about marketing and marketing techniques. It's, it's a conference, really, that's about the environment in which you're marketing uh, and the state of the nation, as far as that's concerned. We also um, run town hall meetings, such as this one, Digital Forum Today. And um, our first or second Insight event of the year is actually taking place with John Lewis, and that's on the 27th of March, if you're interested go on to the website and book your place on that. Initiatives, um, some of which you're going to be hearing about today. Um, if you're not aware, please go on the website, but you know we have a really strong policy arm here. We're very much involved in the call for the establishment of an independent body to regulate and monitor content. Um, you know, yet again, Last week, there was another discovery of inappropriate content um, linked to paedophilic behavior on um, YouTube. Um, we know that these are complex platforms. We know that um, the work of monitoring around them is intensely difficult, but we don't believe it's impossible. And we've been working with Google, and we've been working with uh, Facebook, uh, for years now, for the last couple of years on a fairly intense basis to address these problems on your behalf and we continue to do so and with local governments as well. Uh, rebuilding trust in advertising is a key initiative which was going to be launched next Tuesday at the conference. Uh, I don't know if anyone has had a chance to see but the AA have recently done some research um, and uh, one of the reasons for this, if you look at the Edelman Trust Barometer, for the first time, the advertising industry is the penultimate contender. Is that right, Steve, or are we at the bottom? We're either next to the bottom or the bottom. And compared to the position of the advertising industry 30 years ago and longer, where it was near the top of the professional trusted uh, or the trust in professions, to be at the bottom in 2019 is really a bit of a wake up call for the industry and you can be sure that we're very involved with that on your um, behalf. As we are of course working with the government here across the consultations with TfL around HSFF. HFSS, I always get those two mixed up, and uh, outdoor, you know, the ban on advertising, a huge range of food products and beverage products uh, with TFL. Anyway, that just gives you a glimpse of what's going on, and you can check out more on the website.